Well, spring has sprung, but <laughs> the deer, they haven't really seen it yet. The green grass, the daisies are still a month or more away. In fact, there's snow all around me at in all the draws, and there's very little, if any, green grass. This is a critical time for wildlife. Now here in Wyoming, we have went through a terrible drought past summer, and that led up to these deer going into the winter in poor, poor condition. It's late March, and I have deer dying daily on my property right now because they're so stressed, and these late, winter storms which are early spring storms they can be really hard on these deer this deer was alive last night when we came down and did chores i'm down here at my barn where we feed the horses and the deer have been coming in and picking up some of the hay i always leave a little hay for them but it just isn't enough in fact we had two deer die overnight and the temperature today is close to 50 degrees so what should you do well, one thing you should do is don't stress these deer. Now, I love shed hunting, and I know you do too, but if you do see deer or other big game, circle wide and don't push them. This time of year, you could really, really hurt them if you push them. The other thing is to do is really don't feed them. Now, I have been throwing some hay out, like I said, but not enough to feed them fully, just to kind of give them a little bit of tidbits as they browse around my property. That, I think, helped him out. I know it helped some of the pheasants out as I've been graining them here, but as you can see, even that isn't enough. So, don't stress the deer. It may be spring, but there's still a lot of winter left, especially in the North Country, and we don't need any more dead deer or scenes like this.